I can't imagine how lit Frazier is. This might be the most lit year in the history of Frazier. You know what I yeah. mean? Between you and just Glow and the whole CMG movement. Like, yeah. Memphis really on fire. Woo! All right, everybody, it's your boy My Wan here at Dash Radio on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Today we got Big Dude yes, coming sir. from Memphis. Big Boogie, how you sir, doing? I'm good, I'm good. Man, you've been one of the hardest working artists out the gates. <laughs> yeah, it got to. You got to stay working. Man, everybody from Memphis, y'all working. Everybody. And, and, and there's really like, uh, I mean, shout out to Yo Gotti. Yeah. CMG, like y'all getting bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger year by year. Yeah. But you specifically, man, came out on the scene 2017, right? 2018. 2018, okay. Yeah. Album, album, album. Yeah. From a definition of pain. Yeah. Right? And then you came out and you had uh you had a couple pain on paper tapes. Yeah. Right? And then you came out with, I think it was like Final Nightmare. Yeah. Uh, just been busy. Yeah. <laughs> been busy, bro. You've been you've given us a consistent 15 to 20 record album every For year. Sure. For sure. How many like like what's your motivation behind dropping so much music? Um uh like I said, my daughter's a big um a big part of my career. So it's like the more I can take care of her, the more I can do this. You feel what I'm saying? Um. So I just go crazy with it. This is my life. I don't have a plan B. I, I love that, bro. You know, I've heard a lot of artists and producers even tell me that when when they have kids, they go into overdrive. Yeah. So that, that like, changed everything after having yeah, your daughter. Yeah, for sure. For sure. What, what year did you have your daughter, if you don't mind me asking? You remember? 2020. 2020? Yeah. I, I, yeah. It was, like, she in December. Okay, okay. And then you just mm -hmm. been grinding ever since. Yeah, for sure, bro. Well, congratulations on uh, Definition of Big Dude. Project yeah. super dope. Yeah. I would say my favorite record on there is Kush Breath. Yeah. I love that. Big Dude. Uh-huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> How did you come up with Big Dude? Um, Big Dude. I came, to, I came up with it because, like, like um, my uncles, they, they called me Big Dude. So I'd be like, why you say that? That's hard. And they like, um, you can handle anything that come your way. You know what I'm saying? You can handle anything that come your way. You smart, you loyal. God don't play about you. So that's where big dude come in there. So anything that touch me that's negative, five uh, years old, you feel like God got me for sure. Mm, I love that, man. But but you really work for it. A yeah. lot of artists, especially after they have big moments. You see him take like a year off, a year or two off. Yeah. You have not taken no time off. Period. I can't. Period, man. And I, from from what I heard, from what I read, your shows in Memphis be going crazy. Yeah. That's when you knew, right? Like you knew that this was mm -hmm. it for you? Because mm -hmm. there's <laughs> a lot of artists, right, that are popping online and, and you see the numbers, whether it's on Instagram, Spotify, TikTok. But then, you know, you pull up to the show and the crowd looks half empty. Yeah. You know, but yeah. for you, for for you, from what I read, like when you when you, when you did your shows like early on in Memphis, it kind of re reassured you. You were like, okay, I know, like, yeah, it's, it's like it hit me. And then, so how did you get tapped in with Yo Gotti, and what made Yo Gotti say like, no, nah, we need Big Boogie on the team? Um, it was really it was really out the blue to me. So um, when they when they came, it was it was really out the blue. But they let me they they, they let me work though. They let me do me. They let me have fun first. You feel what I'm saying? They let me get the hang of it. And, mm. You feel what I'm saying? They fly me out here and there. You feel what I'm saying? We we doing this, we doing it. I'm just getting the hang of the whole vibe. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So, I mean, CMG a real family for sure. I really peeped that because when Glow was here, Glorilla kept talking about how much Yo Gotti was like a mentor to her. It is. Yeah, for real. Like, right? he's smart. Like, he know our moves before we make them. Cause he's been he through been it. There. You feel what I'm saying? He been there, so we, he he knew. So he's like anything, anything I gotta say. We're like, it ain't about it ain't about we 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 do people for him. It's just we we believe in him. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? We believe in his mindset. Like we got faith in his ideas. Mm -hmm. So that will you know that will take us far with it. And 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 like like I said, you've been busy out the gates, but 
now that you know, I mean, I know you've been with the label, but now that things are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, do you? How many of your plays are you running through Gotti? Like you call him when you got an idea. How how often are you running ideas past him? Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Like God, I always go with my ideas, but he like he mix my ideas with his ideas, mm. and it just go how it go. And I be like, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's hard. That's that. That's a beautiful thing because we got you, we got Money Bag, we got Glow. I mean, the labels is growing and growing. We got everybody, Forty Two Doug. Everybody, everybody, everybody popping it. Everybody doing what they got to do. Everybody putting on for CMG the way the, the right way. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. Everybody energy a hundred percent. You feel what I'm saying? All flowers to the whole CMG. We we go crazy. Absolutely. I love too. One of my favorite things about your team is when one of you has a moment. You guys kind of like lift everybody up. Yeah, we 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 go, I'm, we clapping for everybody. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm clapping for everybody at this CMG, regardless. Like we we forever we forever family. You feel that, what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing, bro. How did it feel to see Glow at the Grammys? Man, I was I was proud, man. I ain't gonna lie, cause we from the same hood. Me and Glow from the same hood. Like same same. You Fraser, you know, we from Memphis. You from you Fraser too? Yeah, oh, Fraser. Shit. Like Fraser, I went to Fraser High School. I mean Fraser Middles. Elementary, you know what I'm saying? Like from fourth grade all the way to ninth. So did you know her before FNF? No, yeah, yeah, I knew Glow. Yeah, I knew her. I knew her for sure. And it's like she was gonna blow one day, one day regardless. Anyway, mm -hmm. I ain't, I ain't care who she. It didn't matter who she signed with. Glow was gonna, she was gonna, she was gonna blow regardless. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, God don't play by nobody that he made that he made a star. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So. Our flower to glow for sure. You know sure, what I'm saying? Man, we, both, we both from Frazier. We both doing that's our thing. That's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> Frazier is hot right now. Yeah. Frazier is real we hot right now. We don't play there. We own it. And, and, and you got a real unique aspect to you. Because when I was listening to the music, which it took me all week, like you got a lot of music. A I great do. body of music, too. Yeah. But it's real therapy. It's some like hood. Not, not even hood's the wrong term. My bad. It's just some like gangster therapy. Like... Like yeah. on some big dude, like you always say, but real like intro, you know what I mean? You're talking about real shit. Yeah, I I I got to because like I can't just put nothing together. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I can't just rap about this, that, and that, all oh, Glocks and this, guns and okay, cool, everybody rap about guns and Glocks and all that cool. But I like the I know the world gonna hear me, so I gotta I gotta vent. You feel what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if I don't if like how my fans is around the world. They love me. They go crazy about me just because of me. Mm. I don't try to be nobody else. I never was a. I never was a follower. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Like I, I did. Like it, it was people that I grew up with. I wanted to be like, but I never followed their footsteps though. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a difference. No, you haven't like tried it. You haven't switched it up, which I think is really dope. Since you know, you if I'm correct, definition of pain out. Like even from there, you were talking about real shit you were going through. Up until definition of big dude and everything between, yeah. you never try to like do records that other people are doing. You've kept it you, but you've gone viral, right? Yeah. You've gone viral. You've gone viral on TikTok. You've gone big on like, you know, every aspect of the game. But yeah. what are some milestones? Some things that that big boogie is still looking forward to. Doing? Um. I just, I just, I just, you know, I just go harder to make my career big as big as possible. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like big, I, and I'm not stopping. I, I won't stop. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and then I, like when, and then when I do, when then when I do stop, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a therapist. Yeah, I've read that. So you really want to be a therapist? Yes. Like, like, yes. Have people who, you know, Monday I, you got someone coming yes, in. Yes, like you gotta sign up online to even talk to me. Damn. So do I you, want it. I'm, and I'm gonna do that. I love that. Yeah, I, because I want. I know. I know. I'm a heart. I'm a heart to heart person. That's like, some real. Like, like, say, when, like, like we, like we cut the cameras off, and you say you want to vent to me. Mm -hmm. you, you'll be my best friend before I leave here. Damn, bro. I got okay. Cool. We yeah, cut the cameras real. off. I'm going through some shit. We gonna have to sit and talk. And I, about. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like I got the answers to everything. Wow. How many of your homies are hitting you? Are you like often on the phone with everybody? No, nah, it like they around me every every twenty four seven. Like wow. I got I got a three story. I was like my people with me. Wow, wow. You know what I'm saying, and and reason why I keep my boys with me because 
I, 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 fear, I fear them getting killed in the streets. Mm. I fear it because I lost my little brother Q. It's a chain right here. Mm. He's my baby brother. So rest in peace to Q, man. I'm yeah, sorry so to hear that, yeah, for sure. So I'm sorry to hear that. it's my baby brother. So it's like I, I'd rather keep them around something that's happy, focused, and you feel what I'm saying they head above water before I before I get that call and be like, no, nah, I fear that call. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I keep them with me. It ain't, it ain't, I don't look at my boys like they leeching off me or whatever, whatever. Lawyers, lawyers, sour, sour. So yeah. if you lawyer, your heart won't let you do nothing sour around, around your gut. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's why I keep them with me 24 7. Like, like they my family. Damn, yeah. man. That's some, um, that's some um, real, I'm trying to think of the right word, but like you just be giving back to everybody around you. Yeah. And I, I think that it, that's not, it's not often in, in hip hop that anybody wants to, after this, become a therapist. That, yeah. that, that might be the first time I ever heard that. Yeah, I want to be a therapist. But for you sure. hear it in the music, like out the gates, like I was saying, yeah. definition of pain. You're talking about how you're coping with your pain. Yeah. And you probably take on so many other people's battles too, and then you can put it into your art. Yeah, I can. Damn. Like, I, I, I could really, it could be anybody. Mm -hmm. like it could be anybody. It could be it could be him. It could be anybody in there. You feel what I'm saying? Like they they, they, they want to vent. I'm a vent to them. I got the I got the answers. I know I do. God real to me. I'm real big on God. Okay, so you real religious? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm just. I, I know I'm my angel. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I'm team God for sure. Mm, I love that. I love that. You like know I that. give him his prayers every like every every day. Like every day I wake up and post on Facebook. Thank God for another day. Every single day. How long and, you been on that? I've been on there for like two years now. Two okay. years and two years full. Two years full. Wow. No skips. Wow. And, and and I remember last time I didn't post it that same day I went to jail. Damn. Yeah, so I don't miss like so I don't miss no days. Yeah. Every day I gotta say it. And if I'm just waking up, I'm still gonna say it right there, right then and there. Whenever I wake up, or if I say, damn, I forgot. In the, in the middle of that day, before the day over, I'm finna post it. Yeah. How many times a day do you, would you say outside of that do you talk with God? Do you take a lot of time to... 24-7. Damn, that's a beautiful thing. 24-7. Like how I'm talking about God now. Yeah, yeah. He hear me. A a absolutely, he, right? He hear me for sure. So I say every day, every day I thank God. I, I talk about him. I say how good, how good he is to me. Um... And, and and I and I and I and I for sure got to give God his flowers for my daughter too. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Cause He blessed me with a daughter, and that's my first child. I'm 26, mm -hmm. and she taught me everything. She my best friend. I just got on Facetime with her. Uh, that's that's yeah. what's up, man. I just got on Facetime. That's with some her. beautiful shit. I was doing this with Ty Dolla Sign like two months ago. Yeah, and I like right, him. Right Ty before Dolla the Sign. interview, he did the same thing. He said, "Hold on, bro. We had everything ready to go." Tapped in with a daughter just to make sure she was cool. He's like, I just want to make sure she's good right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like, I, I feel like, um, if you're an artist and you got and you got kids, you gotta you gotta get it. You gotta you a different role model to them. Mm -hmm. Cause for one, they you don't gotta be around them. You could be on the road, they will still watch you on TV. Mm -hmm. So you you a, like you are you famous to them, and you their parent. So they got a lot to sink in. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So when they see you, they are, they obviously, they are a fan of you. They are excited to see you. Oh, my God, my dad is that person that's on TV. Yeah. He right here. Yeah. I'm spending time with him. Oh, my God. Like, I know their brains like that. And, you know, them kids be knowing. So my, my little girl, Bougie, though. She real Bougie. Her name Raya. Bougie? Yeah. As she should be. I mean, her dad's. Popping, yeah, right? for sure. Is she tapped in? Like I can imagine, like Money Bag and Yo Gotti and Glorilla are like auntie and uncles, right? Yeah, right? for sure. <laughs> Does she ever? Do you ever like put I her on the phone it, with them? No, nah, I mean, uh, she met Yo Gotti before. Uh -huh. um, she been around Bag before. She been around Money Bag before. She uh, she been around Glow too before too. At the, okay. uh, we was all at our, at, uh, at Gotti birthday bash in Memphis. And I brought and I brought my daughter there. I mean, um, they couldn't. They, she couldn't really meet him, speak to him because you know we we, we artists, so we celebrities, so we gotta move mm -hmm. how we move. We don't want on time limit. Like we got the world outside to see us right now. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, 
my little, my little girl, she bump, she she listened to everybody, the whole CMG. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. me most, you know. Of course. You know what I'm saying? But black but on the but uh, like girl rapper, she listened to her mama. Her mama rapped too. Her name Big Ree. Oh she, shit. She coming too, Big Ree. And um she listened to um she listened to Glow too. She listened to Glow. She listened to Tink. She listened to she listen. She listen. Yeah. yeah. Well, she, damn. She's gonna be a. She's been a been around music. And she's yeah. Gonna she was born really, in it. She was born in it for sure. That's a beautiful thing because I know you grew up in Louisiana, right? Uh huh. I imagine it wasn't like the easiest place to grow up. And it then went. It you went. went to Memphis at ten, and I think it's so beautiful that that you were able to provide this opportunity for your daughter, where she's growing up yeah. around you know, you know, <laughs> music superstars, yeah. artists. Like, She's not around regular artists. No. Nah. You guys are platinum performing artists. Yeah. You know, Grammy she nominated round, she award round, winners. Yeah, she around superstars. Damn, so. man. So you a daddy of superstars, so she can't do nothing but be like, whoa, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I mean, I, I still I I I I make sure she she on her school stuff and everything. And I mean she she lovely. Like she beautiful. She smart. She intelligent. I'm I'm t- I'm That's teaching a her well. What's her name, if you don't mind me Raya. asking? Huh? Raya. Ray. Raya. 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 Yeah. Okay, shout out to Raya. She's going to go back yeah, and see this sure. as she gets older. <laughs> um, I, got a, I got a gift I got to give you. So I do this thing where I give every artist an album, uh-huh. and I, I wanted to give you an Akon album real bad. I'm going to keep it 100. I, yeah. I, I couldn't find you an Akon album. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with what I think you might have, you know, Grew up jamming out <laughs> too, so I got My you a CD. <laughs> Let me know if you rock with this. It's not the Akon album I wanted to give you, but I think this is something you might have rolled around listening to. Yeah, okay. You rock with that? Yeah, I, I like three, yeah, three six. six. Yeah. Can we do a rest in peace to Gangsta Boo? Oh yeah, Gangsta Boo. Yeah. Man, she has so much love for you guys. You yeah. know, when I interviewed Glorilla, Gangsta Boo DM'd me. Dead yeah. ass sent me a DM and was like, hey, I saw your interview with Glow. Love. She said, I love Glow. Thank you for shouting me out. And we were talking for a little bit, and she was like, I knew she was going to be a star. I was ready to support her anyway. So yeah. she rocked with you guys heavy. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. It's a lot of people proud of uh, Glow, me. They they proud. Like, we young. You feel what I'm saying? So we, we ain't doing nothing negative. Period to get where we at. When we just hustling, we grinding, we we putting, we just we working, we doing, we putting everything we got in into this. Absolutely, it's all we got. So. You you brought it up in a real great great way that you're not doing anything negative. Your music is actually really reflective, mm-hmm. especially for people in Memphis, right? Who might not have, who might not feel like it's cool to have a therapist. You know what I mean? Yeah. Talk about their. Feelings, you make it cool. Yeah, I mean, people. Some people be. Some people, they 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 fear that like they they scared of what people might say about them. Mm. You can't be like that, man. You gotta just keep going. Like you just, it ain't about you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's your happiness, but like if you're a parent, it ain't about you. Mm. But it's also you gotta stay happy. Like you gotta keep your head above water to live through this life we live in. You feel what I'm saying? Because Absolutely. tomorrow I ain't promised. The next hour I ain't promised, but. We giving it all we got, and mm-hmm. we know we good with God, so we ain't worried about no deaths, no nothing. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. We 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 putting on for our kids, our family, and we keep it going. Yeah. That's how I look at it. And you really put like I can't imagine how lit Frazier is. This might be the most lit year in the history of Frazier. You know what I yeah. mean? Between you and just Glow and the whole CMG movement, like yeah. Memphis really on fire. That, yeah. Part of me wanted to give you this. Uh, Three Six Mafia is when they came out, they're popping. Crunchy Black is pop, uh, Crunchy Black is popping. You had uh, Project Pat popping, Gangsta Boo popping. Mm-hmm. This movement you guys have is really like reflects that to me, where yeah. it's like so many of you guys all coming up together, and it's gonna lay the foundation for the next 10, 20 years of Memphis, you know, music and yeah. arts. Yeah, we're general. going crazy. <laughs> we're yeah, going, crazy. going super crazy. But it's, so, but it's so crazy because. Like everything is got an idea, That's so it's like for him to go this hard and make it this big. Flowers given, absolutely. We gotta give God you know his flowers. Flowers given, and, and it's and, rare that a rapper evolves from rapper to executive. 
And, and Got It was a big rapper. Got It was, you know, top 1% of rappers. Like, you know, every, for every thousand rappers, we only hear about one or two of them, right? Mm -hmm. Got It was huge. I knew about Got It as a rapper. We all did. But then he took his next step into being an executive and made an even bigger splash. Yeah. And it's crazy. So what, what are some things that, that would you say, like, are there, like, specific lessons that you've learned from him, things that he's engraved in you? Yeah, um, he he always told me to chase my dream and not the money. Mm. Cause when I first came in it, I was chasing the I was chasing the money because I you know I ain't have it I ain't have it you feel what I'm saying and I'm scrickling from I'm scrickling from Louisiana so I ain't have it like everybody else did I ain't wear Jordans I didn't know what no, I I ain't could never go in no malls I used to window shop you feel what I'm saying for years mm -hmm. but it's like. He would like just have fun with it because that's that's around about the time I care about what people said about me once before. So when I stopped, when I had that talk with him, it's like I got free, and that's when I started dancing more. I start and I blew. You feel what I'm saying? Like I got bigger and bigger and bigger, and now I'm a whole celebrity. So absolutely, yeah, for man. Sure. Yeah, like, you can't even go back to your old neighborhood without without getting it hounded, hun. Left yeah, or right, like 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 I I can I can I can go back and just like I just gotta move as a celebrity. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying like safety first, but he's like I know it's real good, it's all love, but you know it's devil spirits everywhere. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I just got it. It's a protection thing. It's a, it's a thinking small thing, but I'm a homebody though. That's I good. stay in Atlanta That's good. though. That's good. So when I moved from Memphis like two years ago. A year ago. To Atlanta? Yeah. And I oh, love, Atlanta. love it out there. Yeah, I got everything in my house. I Atlanta's gotta... perfect too, because there's so much art being made. It's it's, it's perfect. It's 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 networking, it's good. I met new people, I met the rappers I always want to meet. Mm -hmm. I met Rich Homie, I met um I met um T I yeah. I met um Boosie. Me and Lil Boosie was just on the phone. You, you gotta work with Boosie. How I, crazy was that? Cause you always wanted to work with him. I mean I love Boosie, man. Boosie like he 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 one of my OGs that's in my notes. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And then he he a, he a king of Louisiana to me. Mm -hmm. you, you feel what I'm saying? Even even if they don't give him his flowers, I'm giving them to him. I love you feel that. what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like like me and him just on the phone, literally. Like what do you we talk act about? Just like alike. when you and Boozy on the phone, what do you guys talking about? We talk about we just we just be smiling ear to ear. Like we be smiling, and we talk about our next move. Mm -hmm. We talk about um. How we just did this, how fresh you was, how fresh I was. Oh, oh I got this song. Oh, we need to shoot this video. Oh, my, oh, you got this show? I got this show. The fans want to see you. Dude. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like we just, we just have, we, we, everything just happy. That's such a beautiful thing, man. Cause I, I, from reading up on you early on, you looked up to Boozy and you were saying you want to work with two people. It was always Akon. And boozy. Everything mm -hmm. I saw, you you were manifesting. I'm gonna work with Akon. I'm gonna work with. I'm boozy. gonna meet Akon one day. So Akon's back in the music scene. You know, yeah. he just dropped. He just dropped his Enjoy. project. Yep, he dropped Enjoy, and he's back out here now. So how close are we getting? How close are we to getting a, you know, collaboration with I you and Akon? It can be tomorrow. You ready? If Akon calls, you pulling up. I'm wherever. going. I'm going. Hell yeah! Well, I I think it's gonna happen for sure. I'm, 100%, I'm going because you made it happen with Boozy. Yeah, and I know it's gonna happen. I know it's coming. I Akon just, and the big dude. I just dudes, gotta definitely. I just gotta stay focused and keep my head up, and I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna meet him. I love that. I love that, man. I gotta give you an another gift. So we got oh, yeah. we got our partners over at Plug and Play. Plug and Play. They got the dopest. One of the dopest. You know. THC pens, weed pens in the game. Yeah. So we had to hook you up. We got a care package from our folks over there. <laughs> this is literally the best, most highest quality pen in the entire game. Yeah. They got it looking like a, you see a little VHS, like that old school joint. Yeah. So shout out to Peter, the good people at Plug and Play. Oh, we, yeah. had to, we had to gift that for shout you. Shout out to Plug and Play. You yeah. know what I mean? You got time out <laughs> here in L.A. Um, who are some rappers that you want to plug in right now? Some folks that you that you think we should have on our radar? Um, my, uh, I got my artists right now. Um, Huncho, Dreezy, um, Jizzle, uh, Looney. I'm just naming their names. Um, yeah, you got a Fet, lot of artists on Yeah, Fed Chopper, but they my, they my family. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? So 
I got, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, my daughter, mama, Big Ree. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh, I just, you know, I got, I got them. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, I know, I know it's hard coming up. You feel what I'm saying? So, the hardest thing about being, being, being in this game is getting the, getting the world attention. Mm, absolutely. That's the hardest thing, getting their attention. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's like, I just, I just, I got, I got their back on whatever. I just got to keep, like I said, I just got to keep going. I love that, you man. You saying? really, long, you take care exactly. of a lot of people. Yeah. You be having to fill, you probably have to fill the fridge like every two, three days, just how many people you feed. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing, man. Shout out our people at Plug and Play. Um, so, uh, Kush Breath is the record that I'm hearing now on Dash Radio, on uh-huh. the record, you know, that big dude. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> Said Brett smelled like a, uh, yeah. That shit's tight. I, honestly, I love anything in hip hop that is really creative. Yeah. You know, something that's out the box. And the fact that you you took a melody, uh huh, uh huh, and yeah. rhymed it with I could, I, could, I could do that. I could do any type of, and it's gonna sound good. Well, it's something with the way you guys talk in Memphis, the way you, you make certain words sound just different. You know, yeah. like, I never thought like, you can flip the word onion like that and kind of rhyme it with like a yeah, melody. Yeah, like you know, like I like I said, like and I'm big fans of Jamaicans too. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I'm real big on Jamaicans. Okay. Haitians. Okay. I'm real big. I love them. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I I got I got Lucy, I got the Louisiana in me, Memphis in me. You feel and I mix it like with Jamaican vibes. You feel what I'm saying? And I know my voice, my voice, don't nobody got my voice, it's no. raspy, it's deep. Yeah. And I'm, I'm down with South, you feel what yeah. I'm saying? So I know how to play with my voice. You really do. You yeah. mean, you got one, you got one kind of way you play with your voice that I can't even, I, I, I've I been trying to do it all day, but it's like almost like a, uh, it's like a grr, like. Yeah, grr. Grr, yeah. yeah. I, I was listening, <laughs> I can't roll my R's like that. Yeah. Does that come from that, like, you said that like Jamaican yeah, influence yeah. that like Louis. That I imagine that's it's like, like that. it's Haitian flow, like you feel what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But everybody got a it's like a gun sound. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying, like for ad lib. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it's really, it's it's really it, re- it really come from like like Haitians and Jamaicans. Like you feel what I'm saying, like it's a gun sound. Like how did like, you get inspired by them from Louisiana? I, yeah, yeah, and, and I'm you know I'm big on um, uh, my little cousin got me big on Bob Marley. Okay. And I was big on I was just big on Jamaican music because, like, like, like I say, black is beautiful. You feel what I'm saying? So, I I, I love every race. You feel what I'm saying? So it is because it, every race support me. They they boogie crazy. Like it, I love. It, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But just that point, like Jamaicans, like, like everybody loves Jamaicans. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, good like you good, like good people. You gonna be good people anywhere. Absolutely. You feel they're, what I'm saying? So always. Positive. They, they music is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I used love to the way they dance and I love the way they talk. I used to work with a company called Massive that was like half rooted in Jamaica and their culture. Yeah. Every day I walk in, it was bless up, bless up, bless up, Wagwan. Yeah. And I was always like, what does Wagwan I, 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 mean? I got, I got, Wag, Wagwan mean like what's up? Exactly. Yeah. You feel exactly what I'm saying? What they like, tell me, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love Jamaican. Like, like I got, I got family that's Jamaican, like mm. in Memphis. So they're from Jamaica, but it's like they teach me everything. So when I want to just be around, it's like it's a blessing to be around them, them that, that race. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like a real deal, go over my fr- go over my brother's house, and he is Jamaican, mm-hmm. he full blown Jamaican. Like, but his friends and family, they know me. Like we locked in, like like we together. Like we 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 do um, holidays together. My birthday, he he. It's like we do music together, everything. And um, I got a Haitian with me too. His name Rude Boy. Yeah, he stayed with me too. He's like my little brother, but I, but I, but he, I call him my son though. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So he he he's like 22, 21. Damn, you really got a a big circle, and everyone you keep using the word family. Hey, family. I'm, I'm big on family. And CMG, you guys are really like a family. Yes, that's such a beautiful thing, man. You, yeah, cause like some people, some people look at it be like. Oh, it's creek. It's all oh, they be on business. Woo woo. I mean, you, it, it ain't. It, it, it's not that. It's, it's just that point. Like you gotta know the business first to lock in, to lock in with family. Then you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like we gotta do business first. Then we gonna lock in as family. Mm-hmm. Let's see what this business take us first. Yeah. Then, if, then we gonna see if we gonna be family or not. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, 
Like we real big. Like we we really we care for each other. We love each other. We 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 one phone call all the way. I love that saying? man. You guys all work together. I saw uh, Money Bag and Glorilla just drop the joint uh -huh. together, right? Uh -huh. um, it really it really just feels like you guys are just like like they say like the tip of the iceberg. Like this is the beginning of all this shit to me. Mm -hmm. I think you guys are gonna have a crazy five to ten, fifteen year run in in hip hop and Yo. really hold it down for Memphis. But then just hip hop at large, you know yeah. what I mean. So, what single are you, or what song are you looking to kind of push next? Um, my song called T "I Really Can Say All." Okay. But I know we're gonna be be specific. Um, um, like my song "Pop Out" that's going crazy. Yeah. It's like I got like seven, eight hits. You do. You feel what I'm saying? Just yeah. Just it running around, around, yeah. around the place. And I still feel like. Kush Breath still is growing. Yeah, it's, like it's just Kush, starting. Like, like Kush Breath, like it just came out. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like basically like, I mean, I got a lot of music that hits because mm -hmm. I know how to make music. I don't just be like, just making songs. Like I make music. Like I make real deal music. And it's really you. And it's really me. I love when I meet, when I listen to an artist, and then I can like do my research or look the artist up. And they're really who they're like. The person rapping is really, you know, that person. Yeah. So it's really you. And I can tell because yeah. out the gates, 2018, you were talking about your pain. Yeah. And then on this project, you got you got a handful of songs that are real introspective where you're talking about your shit. Yeah. Man. So it, <laughs> look, man, I think you got you got a bright future ahead of you. You guys are yeah. all so young, but you move so calculated. Yeah. Um, everyone seems so happy for each other. Yeah. You know, uh, and and it's very rare that you see a label where every motherfucker is popping. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very few. We got like Opium, Playboy, Cardi's label, everyone's popping. Yeah. We got CMG, everyone's popping. So it's very rare that you see a label where for you guys it's like you, Money, Bad, Globe, 42, Yo Gotti, everyone's popping at the same everybody. time. Everybody, everybody. That's amazing. Are we going to get like a group project soon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, you guys are already working on, working on it? Oh, hell <laughs> yeah. That's going to be fire. We working on it now. That's going to be fire, man. All right, man. Does anybody you want to shout out before we get out of here? Um, Shout out to my daughter. You know, shout out to my label, CMG. Shout out to my family, my artists. Um, Shout out to you, you know. Thank shout you out so to much, you. Bro. Shout Thank out to you. Thank you. my everybody that's working with me, you know. Definition of big dude out right now is that we're going crazy around the mm -hmm. world. If, if anybody hasn't heard definition of big dude, that is like a, a real feel good, just gangster therapy session. You yeah, know what so I mean? the album out right now it just got it just dropped on the thirty first, mm -hmm. so it's brand new to the world. Mm -hmm. um, I will a couple days in with it, but it's it's gonna go platinum for sure. Absolutely, and, for sure. and if I know you well, you're gonna keep going because you haven't going, stopped. I don't got. I don't, you haven't stopped. God ain't God ain't stopped making blessings. What I'm stopping for? I love that, man. Big Boogie, thank you so much, thank man. You. Big dude, we got big dude in the house. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. I love that shit, man. Everybody, this was my one. Big Boogie, uh, definition of big dude is out now. Stay on the lookout, because CMG is not going anywhere. No way. If, if y'all were a stock, it's already too late to get in early, but I would still be investing in y'all. <laughs> All right, my guy. Big big boogie, big dude. Thank you so much for popping in. For sure, thank Dash you. Dash Radio takes a lot of pride in interviewing people before it's too late. Yeah. We had Billie Eilish's first radio interview. Yeah. Cardi B's first radio interview. Yeah. We had Mac Miller, rest in peace, up at the old joint, real early so mm -hmm. i'm glad i got i got it in with you know yourself glorilla everybody because in a couple of years from now you know you guys are gonna be out of here yeah we out of here now that's true that but i'm saying like you're not gonna pick up my calls you know what i mean nah, it's the I am. i'm i'm oh. gonna check everybody we're gonna come back in two years i'm gonna try to get big boogie back here as long as the shop don't move nah <laughs> we'll be right here man we'll be saying all right big boogie sure, thank bro. you so much everybody sure. check out definition of big dude out now boom